Hey Cancer, how are you doing? This reading is for Cancer for the week of September the 9th to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Cancerians? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What's coming towards you, the Fool, Major Arcana 4, Aries. What you are focused on is the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and your outcome is the Tower, Major Arcana 4, Scorpio. Okay, Cancer, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Emperor, Major Arcana 4, Aries, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, or you have that in your chart, or there is a very heavy Mars energy at present time for you and here in your focus is a blockage or indecision it means making a tough call on a person a situation or you don't have all the information and why you don't have all the information is in your blocked and challenged position which is the queen of swords which is truth clarity of possibly where you stand with a person or this could be you where you could be feeling really indecisive of should I stay at this job or should I go should I start something new move or relocate and that's about making a tough call or you're dealing with somebody who's two-faced somebody who's nice to your face and then gossips behind your back or that also could be like a blockage a block in throat chakra here, Cancer, where you're not expressing yourself enough. Queen of Pentacles is where you start, and that's such a beautiful energy. It speaks of having resources or generosity, knowing your worth, knowing your value, very hardworking, abundant. This is focusing on your health, wealth, and happiness. Maybe you've been avoiding that. So this is about you nurturing and nourishing your body, your temple, there also could be some kind of generous offering coming in. Could be work or career. But it is a very beautiful energy. You know, uh, that's Capricorn energy. So loyalty. Maybe things have been very mundane. And if things have been boring and mundane or very routine, it's like you want to shake things up or take a risk or take a leap of faith in a different direction or this could be somebody who wants to take a risk or a leap of faith with you but you haven't given an answer here and the three of wands wow aries leo sagittarius energy and you know the three of wands is expect um expectation so somebody has really high expectations or you've put really high expectations on a situation. This is about your ships coming in or getting on a ship. Like plane, train, automobile. This also speaks of planning, strategizing, and partnering up. Or making some kind of commitment to expand your finances. But you don't have all the information. And you might not even get it. So things could be a little bit black and white. Let's see what this Fool card is. Fool card is about not having expectations of how things should go. It's about detaching yourself from an outcome. Because when you detach yourself from an outcome, you will never be disappointed. There also could be somebody who is expecting you to be generous to them. Or to give to them. This person could be at a distance. Yep. 
Yeah, it's like somebody having high expectation. And the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the Ten of Wands is about clearing out baggage. There also could be a boss, a work situation that expects you to do all the heavy lifting. This could also be one-sided. So this is like carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and needing to offload this baggage. It's too heavy for you to carry and you haven't wanted to look at it. And see how you're packing up some kind of boxes or you need to sift and sort through junk. This is like carrying around a canoe all the time. So you're packing around a heavy canoe all the time and it is nothing but baggage from your past that needs to be purged so that you can take this leap of faith. Five of Wands, drama, conflict, arguments, fighting, tension. This could be in work or this is an internal conflict. Let's see what this Two of Swords is. It's so easy to sit in a situation or a job or a relationship or whatever and blame the other person and not take accountability or responsibility of how we played the part in it as well. This person um, could also be like a mother. This mother is like a has high expectations of how you should act, think, feel. And the three of pentacles. Wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. If you're dealing with a Capricorn specifically, it's like avoid collaboration, avoiding networking. And some of you need to take a leap of faith and promote yourself and put yourself out there even with this heavy feeling. It's like fear it and do it anyways. Networking or collaboration. There's an indecision in some kind of networking, collaboration, job. Like you're butting heads with an individual. Something isn't working here. But there's a need for you to communicate something and get something off your chest. There also could be another person who knows that they need to conversate and they could be extremely stubborn of doing so. It's because, again, that expectation, like, no, I didn't, it's like almost like a pride or an ego thing. Like, no, um, you're the problem. Not, I'm not the problem here. And here, again, how you work is going to be very different from how these people think and act as well. So this could be like something at work that you have been avoiding. So maybe you need to let somebody go or you've been avoiding collaboration or networking because there's other heavy duties that, or responsibilities that you have on your shoulders or you need to unload this. This is a need for you to ask for help. So if there's some kind of move or even office job move, Ask your friend to run an errand and you're like, no, I got it. Again, it's like, if it's not done my way and it doesn't look this way or uh, you, you have an expectation or somebody does. So it's like, it will never be good enough, right? Let's see what this uh, Queen of Swords is. So like, even if you did help this person... Um, they'll find a reason why it's not good enough because it's because this person has a high expectation. And this could be your boss. This could be like, like I said, some, um, a mother. And you've been avoiding conversating or collaborating with this person. Justice. Wow. Yeah, that's a big decision. And justice is about truth, clarity, fairness, equilibrium and finding balance this is also some kind of contract and you might even be left out of this contract 
or this is a contract that you should avoid or you've been avoiding signing or a need for you to get more honest with yourself here it's like oh no I, I just love my job my job is just so great and your blocked and challenged position is the truth where exactly how you think about your job you want out and then it's eight of swords I feel stuck tied trapped in this situation I feel frustrated I feel that angst and you think it's too heavy to take something new but this is like one-sided I feel like you're doing too much. I feel like you need to say something or express something here. And here, this is about karma. Stand in a place of integrity. There's a win-win for you in the forecast. And if this has something to do with job and career, it's like, fear it and do it anyways. And you're like, already putting the cart before the horse. Oh, this is going to be way too heavy. You know, I've got to learn something new. Yeah, that's right. But learning something new is a growth spurt for you. It's getting you out of this stagnancy or something about not, somebody's not saying something here. And right here, it's, um, and it could be a relationship because Queen of Swords and then you have Queen of Coins. This can be like divorce, somebody widowed or unmarried, or maybe Cancer. You're dealing with somebody who says, oh, no, um, you know, I am single. They're not. They're still invested somewhere else. Or that could also be you like, oh, no, I've already quit my job. And they're like, good, start tomorrow. And now you have like double duty of work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so the tower. This is your aha uh -huh moment, upheaval, chaos, and having some kind of realization. This is faulty foundation, something that was built on quicksand from the get-go. So it wasn't a solid foundation or there wasn't enough um, communication. A breakdown in communication uh, definitely will lead to an ending. And the Six of Wands. Wow. But it's a shocking victory for you. You're also taking some kind of person off the pedestal. This is an intention seeker. Or maybe, like I said, it was a one-sided situation. There's something good going in your favor here. Because the Six of Wands is about appreciation. Or maybe you didn't feel appreciated in where you were with job and career. But this is a need for you to stand out. This speaks of completion, closure, hitting some kind of midpoint in your life. Everything you needed to know in this circumstance is done. And see how there's kind of like on this tower, a devil and angel... So we're talking again, um, this is Capricorn, Saturn energy. It's like a restriction or you've been afraid to do something, but now you're doing it. Even if you have to move or relocate, or even if you're um, getting a new job or position, it's like you're opening your throat chakra right here. There's also paperwork that maybe you have been avoiding handling and now you need to tackle it and get it out of the way. Or somebody was not signing some kind of piece of paperwork. It's because it's like something about pride here. Six of Wands is also jealousy. Or getting a raise, getting a promotion. And you don't see it coming. Or maybe you do and you're like, oh gosh, this is going to be heavy. Or this is like purging baggage and you being... Flexible, having little to no baggage, little to no worry. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is kind of like the Queen of Pentacles. That's your divine counterpart. You know, King of Pentacles has the Midas touch. Whatever you touch here, Cancer, you make more beautiful or turn it to gold. 
can also be dealing with a businessman, businesswoman, or, you know, getting a better opportunity. But again, it's already you see it one sided or heavy or there's just something heavy about it. So don't put the cart before the horse because it's like you're already fearing some kind of situation that's going to go wrong. But I feel like there's something here that needs to go first. Don't ignore it. Accept what is dying. Don't ignore it. And you're like, no, you know what? I can make this work. I'll do double the duty. And this person's like still sitting on their butt. Like not helping. Or not even conversation. This person could also be telling you like bits and pieces of a story. But they're not f full disclosure of what they're doing or, you know, where they're going. Refine your attention. So this is taking your focus off of what other people are doing and refining your attention. I feel like there could be a person who is trying to distract you on where you should be going or what you should be doing. And it's because they have or you've set some kind of really high expectation on yourself. So lower your expectations, be more kind and gentler and soft with, you, with yourself here, accept what's dying and refine your own attention. Take your attention or take this person off the pedestal. This is also some kind of jealousy. So again, possession, control. And it could be like even a jealous person, you getting a better job. And that's why they're like snobbing you off or snubbing you off. Yeah, make no judgment. Make no judgment means surrender the rope. Make no judgment of who this person is, even if they have, you know, a blind side or their shortcomings. Or if they're unconsciously aware of their own doings. And make no judgment of yourself. You know, um, I feel like you're being too hard on yourself. And again, it's like because you have this really high expectation of achievement or, you know, um, something within you or it's maybe a mother and it says make a plan. What is your plan? Refine your attention. What is your plan? Accept what is dying. Make no judgments. It means don't point fingers. This person didn't communicate with me. Good. Well, guess what? Put a mirror, you know, this is a mirroring effect. Neither did you. Because it's in your blocked and challenged position. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Accept what is dying. Rose. Romance is in the air. Yeah. And like I said, for some of you. It's like you still haven't gotten out of a situation or there is a move for you, but it's like you're waiting or there's a generous offering coming in. Like your ship's coming in. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. And this could be something that you are withholding. So again, um, one's a truth and one is an illusion. There could be some kind of lie here. Um, Scorpionic energy or the eighth house. Eighth house is about uh, like uh, transactions, death, sex, and resurrection and taxes. So um, like owing money or something like that. Or somebody is like packing up and moving, moving on. And it could also be like closing, closing a store or something here. And see here, this person's doing it in the background. They're not telling you. Dogs getting together with friends. Yeah, lean on your friends who are loyal to you. Or it says romance is in the air. You could be attracted to a friend or a friend is attracted to you. And this could be at work. Maybe it's against work policy. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. Yeah. Well, it says it all here. And it's going to be exposed here. 
Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. And it says, dark man dealings or a relationship with a man with dark hair or complexion. Yeah, there could be some kind of like lie in um, a contract here. Or like there's discrepancy in paperwork. Or somebody like not um, telling you everything about this job position or something. And wishbone, a wish is granted. Yeah, this is like shocking success or shockingly promoting yourself, putting yourself out there, fearing something and doing it anyways. And tower, solid foundation, success with effort. This could be with another feminine energy. Also, Libra energy is the south node. Aries energy here is the north node. And the north node is where we are heading. The south node is what is going out. Same thing with uh, the Scorpio and Taurus energy. Scorpionic energy is what's going. So what do we need to blow up? And Taurus energy is how can we make something solid? How can we uh, be generous of ourselves and, you know, give from a place of not having any expectations of getting anything back in returns? So right here, Queen of Swords, this is Libra energy. So double Libra, triple Libra here. And then this is Leo, Aries, Sag, Capricorn, Aries. You could have this in your chart or somebody you're dealing with has heavy of this in their chart. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link, it will take you to the website, and you can see the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.